So I want to welcome you all tonight to, believe it or not, our very first in-person presentation in the Sabatini Gallery in the last two years. So you are in the newly renovated space. Uh, we didn't get to play with it very much during the last year because of COVID. And so we we're very excited that we were able to bring you all in here today. And today we are going to uh, be enthralled by Andy and all of his great wisdom and art. And I don't think I need to introduce him to any of you. So I'm going to step back, do a lot of learning. Um, and then before we kind of finish tonight, I'll give you a little more information about what we're doing throughout the whole exhibit so you know more of our programming. With that being said, I give you Ms. Trainee. Um, most of you have seen all these except this last one. Um, I, you know, in the last few years, I've gotten into uh, heavily with murals, so voila. I mean, <laughs> Uh, what I want to do is basically, I'm going to show uh, some slides of what I've done and murals that I want to do, uh, but focus on the, the art history. It's gotten to be a kind of an art history um, subject or uh, movement that I'm trying to get down in the basement of the activity center. Basically, you all seen the centerpiece. This is the it's all going to be titled Our History, then it's going to have a colon, and that's called Our History. One I just finished in July, if you haven't seen it in the basement, is uh, Our History, Civilis Derechos. Uh, and then there's another wall to the, to the right side, uh, I don't know what direction that is, but I want to continue with this one called Our History uh, Barrios. And I'm trying to focus on the basically five boroughs, uh, Oakland, uh, East Topeka, uh, and I even have, if you notice, it's very getting started, uh, it has north Topeka up here, uh, bottoms, you can just see it, they'll show up more, neutral, right in here, uh, where you at, there it is, neutral. Uh, and East Topeka <laughs> and uh, Oakland. Oak, and anyway, all the five boroughs and things that, um, that match up from way back. Uh, from, like, for example, right now, was, uh, we're all the face masks. Uh, Spanish flu, which was in 1918. Uh, and this is a picture from 1918 of people wearing masks. A lady would be. She could be here today, says, wear a mask or go to jail. Uh, so it's very <laughs> prevalent uh, to uh, the COVID now. So, all right, let's get with this. I know how to run this thing. Uh, this is a, a Dave Mathias. He's a, a photographer, an older gentleman. Took all the pictures of our family reunions, and we got to be good friends. Uh, I've done a lot of work for him, and he does a lot of work for me. He did this uh, presentation for me. Um, so, thank Dave for that. This is one of the, when, he, when I was doing this, he took some shots. Uh, this is one of them. Um, my homemade little table there. And I tend to go uh, yakety the yak. Uh, if I say something, I told my wife to give me a signal or something. <laughs> uh, this is the first one. This was in, uh, and I have the, if you want to, uh, just for your information, on this thing, Zan made a copy of my book here, but all these, every, all these images, I have a sheet like this. And they, they, they're numbered. So you uh, find whatever image you're interested in, look on here, it has a number. And this book has a, a, a paragraph definition. Uh, so it, it lets you know what's what. It's, you know, you can't tell the players about a program. There you go. Okay. And this is the hours, uh, uh, quite a few hours. And it's kind of interesting, I'll get to that, that one section I did over there, and this one that I just finished. 
even though this is more than three times the size of that, it took me longer to do that one. Uh, go over that why. All right, um, this is the first one. This was the uh, Mi Parroquia, was uh, 2006. Uh, that's when I started. Yeah, the funny thing is, at the end of 2006, I thought I was done. You know, this is it. You know. um, and the story, and I think a lot of you have heard my wife's sort of get nauseated by this. But when they did this, it was 2005, they were just finishing the building. There was a, a, a bulletin, a um, call for artists to, uh, they wanted four areas that could be, art could be put on. So this is one of them. Uh, so I did this like in September, August of the 05. And I didn't hear anything. Um, yeah. No. Oh, five, yeah, because we, we went, in, it was about December or sometime in there, I called and I asked, whatever happened to that contest? Um, I don't know who I, who I talked to back then, but I said, well, you won it. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was great. So, I, I kept going, I should have shut up. <laughs> um, how many people entered? You're the only one. <laughs> so, anyway, I go, flop. Up and then slam it out. But anyway, this is what it came up with. Um, the measurements were wrong. That's the reason why there's this. Some of you ever wonder why I have that brown bar there. The measurements I was given was 21 by 11. Well, it's actually 18 by 11. I think if they were counting, it was this little little thing up here, this and that. I think. But anyway, so I had to adjust it. And that's the reason for that. Questions? This is this, um, the original one. Um, again, I did the middle part in um, 2012. I finished, I started in February of 2012 and finished in September 2012. This is 665 hours. Um, a long time. <laughs> and again, I thought I was done, was finished, but no. I kept getting comments. You don't have anything on the um, 51 flood, or, uh, uh, the, the war, the World War One, World War II. And there's a bunch, of, there was a list that kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So I decided to add a little bit more. Any questions on this one? So what I did, to the left, I added, uh, this, this is uh, actually um, seven and a half by, well, seven and a half feet by, no, actually square. Uh, it, it fits in right from here, I mean, from that end forward. No, 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 there, never mind, there it is right here. Yeah. No, <laughs> second part. It, it ends, the original part ended right about here. Yeah, the reason exactly. I put these lines here is to hide the line. If you go to the basement and see it, you can see where one started and the other one began. Uh, same thing on the other side. Anyway, this has a lot of the Aztec uh, information, uh, the uh, snake god, I keep forgetting all these names. And the, the states of all of Mexico, where most of the people down there can figure out or see where they came from. So I thought it was kind of neat. Any questions on those? On the other side, I did more was today. This one is again is only seven and a half feet by seven and a half feet. That one is seven and a half by twenty-nine. This took me um, six hundred and eighty-two hours. Uh, that took me six hundred and twenty-eight hours. So it's kind of uh, <laughs> why? Because of all the people. Uh, these, oh, no, I didn't touch. Now, all these people, there's quite a few. This is the original one. Notice that up here there isn't that many people. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of breaking away from what I was started because the reason I do this motif, this Morgus board of images just thrown up there because I can take them out or put them in at, at whenever I wanted to. And that's exactly what I've been doing. 
none of these have ever finished the way I, I intended to, the way I began. During the process, it's changed. This is going to be the same way. I'm going to, a lot of things, and I'll get to this later. I'm going to change, there's a, put all this stuff on here. I'm going to be told, and hopefully I am, that something's not right. Uh, it should, you know, um, the, um, one of the buildings is wrong, or whatever, so, or something else should be putting in, or, for example, I wish I could get a picture of um, Bama Pie, you know, the old Guadalupe Hall. Any of those, if I, if I get one of those, then I will switch something here. I mean, that's because that's Bama Pie is a big part of our community, or was. Uh, so, but anyway, the reason like this, see this one, and you'll, you'll see it a little bit, I don't know, that may, here. See all those? That were not, they were not there on the original one. And those are classes of 32, 38, and there's like four or five of them. So there's all kinds of people um, from the first graduating class of Berlin Guadalupe in 1928 to the last class, 19, uh, 2006, when my niece was in that class. Uh, and I originally put this. Is uh, uh whoa, 19, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's it again? <laughs> ah. Make it bigger. Anyway, uh, my sister, Aurora, is actually in that class. Now she's long gone now, and so is my sister in law, um, Angie Valdivia. Uh, they were both in this 1928 class, which I did not know. So, a little bit of history. And I do have, because people said about 51 flood, the Korean War, Forbes Air Base, the Happy Days group. Uh, I got them all in there. I hope this doesn't get the. How do I get this back down? Pinch it. Just touch it again? Pinch it. Oh, man. That's, that's why you make the big bucks, huh? <laughs> sure. <coughs> oh, all right. Magic. <laughs> anyway, that's the, uh, this is the Toltec Warriors, you see in Mexico. Uh, I have to count those, that's six feet of, you know, there's a wall here, two feet, and this wall is two feet. Uh, my brother Abel and Carlos are the guys who, are, they're the ones that help me with all of these, you know, I, I can't thank them enough. In fact, their name's right there. <laughs> This is the one I did in the gym. Um, there's actually only four places where I've done murals. The stairwell, the gym, downstairs, and in the church, and I'll be coming up. But those four are made up by 26 pieces. Like for example, right now this is four. You'll see in a little bit. It's, I extended it uh, 16 feet on either side um, to 92 feet by seven feet. And this took me uh, a total for uh, this grouping and then the, the two end ones, a total of 881 hours. Well, that's a lot. Of, again, uh, Abel and uh, Carlos again. In fact, I'll show you, there'll be something here. Um, this is the first uh, leg of it, I guess you call it. Um, what, when I was doing this, and <laughs> I worked out, if you've been in our gym, they got a little utility room, and the door is only like seven foot, uh, or not even seven foot, because I can't get, I, I can't get slide the, the pictures through. I had to work in that little cubby hole, and these are, like I said, 15 feet by seven, so they're monsters. Um, but it, somehow we got them done. Uh, <laughs> While I was working on it, a lot of people would come in and tell me things like this. I ain't gonna touch it. <laughs> that little, um, things change again. Always, they're always changing. Uh, the, the Mexican villages have all have wells. So voila, put in the well. Um, come over some other things. Oh, let me see this next one. Second one. Um, on the village, uh, there were, oh, I had these cactuses. Then they had, I think they call them tunas, the top of the top of the cactus. I have to put these in. These are actually the, uh, the Mexican um, 
the eagle, that, the, the, their symbol, the, I think it's called the karakara. They have this kind of uh, like mohawk on their head. They also, uh, another thing that they told me that people would come in while I'm working, says, well, you have to have a, a vegan. They always had these little uh, statues that people sit, uh, sat around. There's that one, and go back. Oh. This, uh, there's these little villages I put in. Uh, um, I forgot well, how you call it, jail in Spanish, but. Uh, Carson. Hmm? Carson. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, jello. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they, they put. Uh, <laughs> Uh, bars, they, they, they had a lot of drunks, they get a lot of drunks. So what they do is put these slats on the windows and doors that made it a jail. Anyway, so they did that. The church, um, this is actually the, the style of Lady Guadalupe with, uh, you can see the doors and that thing on top. But the, from what I understand, the original church, which was 1947, was supposed to have two piers, two columns. But they ran out of money from what I read, and that's why they only have this one. This one just eh, stop. <laughs> Questions or uh, tell me I'm wrong or tell me I'm right. <laughs> okay. um, oh, the other thing was these. All these little things came from people talking to me. The, the windows, all these these, these uh, uh, what do you call these cactus uh, nopales. They were used in the Mexican Mexican villages as a guard, a, a burglar system. So they grow them under the window so that they, uh, and they're going to have to go through a lot of pain to get to that window. Um, okay, I'm going to just keep mariachi. I had to change these twice because they told me that in the heat of Mexico, where the villages, they don't wear black. It's too hot, so I put them in white. And also, I don't know if you noticed, uh, that's in reference to my mom and my dad. Uh, she always wore, she had a bun. Um, and I was thinking her favorite color was blue. My sisters are telling me it was, I mean, um, yeah, it was green. Uh, so, <laughs> so um, well, uh, the, um, yeah, there was, again, there's a, the, the little, this is the, the two new ones, the extensions. That uh, The extensions were uh, last year, May and July. These two, there's two of them that took me 393 hours. That's part of that 800 hours. But uh, Carlos, Paletas Carlos, that's uh, in respect to um, Carlos Lepercio. I even have my brother's name up here. Um, Tienda de, Ar de Arte de Abel, Abel's Art Shop. Uh, Eddie, uh, St. Eduardo, there's a church up here. So I got, and I got, there's different things, uh, primos, cousins. Uh, just reference to some of them here in Topeka. Um, anyway, the, uh, the problem with this, well, I'll show, get to the next one here. Get going quick here. If I'm going too slow, tell me. <laughs> uh, this is the night scene. Um, I'm just trying to get again uh, homeless. Uh, every I'm trying to get the, the the things that a lot of people don't see is what again I mentioned Abel and Carlos what, what, where they come into this. The attachment. Well, let's, I'm gonna. Well, let's go back and forward. This one I'm not crazy about. This is a, it's maybe it's because it's too long and uh, Dave tried to put them all together. There's six panels here. Uh, the middle four are 15 feet and the last two are 16 feet wide. But there's no edge. It's hard to see where, and when you're making canvases out of lumber, and you, you, if you've ever, I'm sure you all, um, a lot of you may have stretched canvas. When you put jezzo on it, it shrinks the canvas. That's what makes it taut. Uh, uh, like those, the military throws those quarters off the bed bumps, whatever. The, uh, anyway, we, there was some issues with these. Uh, but the, um, uh, the, uh, 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 
uh, 18, they figure we, a couple of times we had to undo the canvas because I was already stapled down, but we had to undo it, take it out, work something to do, uh, uh, make it so that there wasn't a big gap in there. Uh, and they worked out. This last one here, it's right in here. I mean, these were the problems that I had to deal with, and uh, that's why I got to get these guys help. There was a gap that went from nothing to like three quarter inch to nothing to a six foot long. So we came up with the idea of putting a, 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 a shim from nothing, three quarter inch, all the way down, and it worked perfect. And we glued it in, taped it down, re canvassed it, voila, and it worked out great. Uh, and, and you can't even see the. My next problem after that was done was matching the colors. Um, because some of these are like five, six years old, and it, it, uh, it, it worked out pretty good. I actually cheated on some of these. Uh, like these colors here. Oh, God, <laughs> Okay, uh, I, I uh, actually painted this. Oh, and, and I painted the old one to match the new one. So I don't have to. Uh, anyway, I cheated. And it'll tell them, but. A little small. A little small. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh, I'm going to take that rage away from that. Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, all right. All right, this is the, I'm going to go a little quicker. Now. This is the back of our Lady of Guadalupe Church. It's 15 pieces. This is a 9 feet. Three inches, nine feet, three inches, I think, by 15. Um, we had a lot of issues again. Even Carlos comes in, putting it back there because there's vents back there. It was meant to be bigger, but you can't cover vents. And put, uh, putting the framework, because this used to be windows back there, and now it's like these things, uh, um, tile, ceiling tiles. And anyway, we had to put some kind of framework back there because these, each one each 15 pieces uh, and you don't see any gaps. I mean, it just, it fits perfect. Uh, I even painted the screws black so you don't see them. But each one of these was screwed down. <coughs> um, in fact, I, I may even have to just, if you want to go through this, uh, took some pictures of what it what it used to look like. I know you can't see it from there, but you're welcome to come up and look at these. But it gives you an idea of my nephew helped uh, the daredevil. Of, he actually had to get up there. You only have a little, yeah, about 18 inches of space up here. Um, and it was dangerous sometimes. But anyway, he got them up and it worked out pretty good. And that was actually. And the story of, of the. Pieces. Oh, um, if you ever seen it, I'm sure you have a lot of you have the Lady Guadalupe pictures. If you see it, Lady Guadalupe, there's always four images of the four parent, uh, uh, four appearances. Uh, Father um, Jaramillo was the one who uh, uh, Peter asked me about doing this, and he said make sure and he mentioned five apparitions because they also appear to her uncle uh, Bernard Bernardo. Uh, so that's the story of the, the five apparitions. Uh, that's why it's called the five apparitions. Questions? Uh, okay, this is what, like, we started off with. This is what, uh, starting this, this thing. Uh, I've had some issues with this. But, uh, some people like it, some people don't. But, uh, heck with them. <laughs> um, and I'm trying, I try to get as much stuff on here as I can. And I, uh, John Mendoza, Eddie, uh, uh, Eddie um, Gonzalez, and uh, especially Tom uh, Rodriguez. Um, those, I, those, I depend on those guys to uh, their opinion means quite a bit, and they're the ones that uh, help me with this. And uh, John's wife, Virginia, they're all very, a uh, lot more in the know than I am about their history. Anyway, that's that. This one took me, I'm going to tell you, 628 hours. That was started in May 20 and oh, finished in December 20. Anyway, uh, well, 
This now here's where the change. One of the changes, big changes. You know, they say carpenters should uh, measure twice, cut once. <laughs> when I did this originally, this was it. It was supposed to fit in a 29 foot wall <clears throat> by seven and a half. Well, seven and a half was fine, but I was more like 23 feet. So I had to. If you notice the ends here, this end, that end, especially this end, there's a lot more different stuff. The uh, uh, manifest destiny. I needed to fit six more feet of uh, material, so I got. And there's there's all kinds of material you can put on here. But, uh, Santa Ana, uh, Santa Ana, and, uh, uh, I forgot this thing, which is very much today. The um, and I, I, I if I went to my, it's the um, what when they um, you, you can only get three percent of the people. Whatever in the United States at that on that date, uh, in what, early 1900s, three percent of it was, uh, immigrants could come in. So, and that's something like what we have today as far as the problem of immigration. It's a constant problem. Never has always been with us. I don't think it'll ever go away. This is the wall that I did. This is again where Ibon Carlos comes in. They helped me tape it, um, jazzo it. Um, I use a uh, grid line, one foot to the uh, the drawing, one foot to the inch. Uh, and that's how I get started. This is the sketch. This is done on uh, tracing paper. Um, it gives me an idea where to place things. And this is what I have a, a opaque projector. Uh, I know I can draw. And I could draw everything. That's what I did on this thing. That's why it took me so darn long. I had to draw every single thing. I got smart finally. And I used the opaque projector and I just shot them up there. But I, you have to arrange it to whatever it had to be a specific size because everything fits. I'm trying to get there's a movement here. Same thing, there's always a, there's some kind of movement in the, in the images. So there's a reason. Uh, some of these are placed in so there's no dead spots. But anyway, so this was the drawing uh, before I started painting, and then I get started, and it just this is the one week or whatever, so, whatever. Um, keep going, and going, and I didn't spill any paint on the floor, so that's <laughs> so still on the table. Uh, it was hot. It, explain that egg, Andy. What? The egg. Explain. The egg? Uh, you see, I think a lot of you have seen this. It's a flag, red, white, and blue, uh, and then underneath red, white, and green from Mexico. And uh, I took it, and I, I, it was a square. I made it into an egg, simply because I, I use the word analogous, which is uh, um, um, what, uh, similar things that are similar. Um, the eagle, their eagle, which is the cara cara, which is like ours, the eagle. The, uh, they're both from, the birth, both birds are both from eggs. Um, their colors are red, white, and blue. In fact, this border going around here is red, white, and green for the Mexico side. Then here it blends to red, white, and blue, the American side. I still have, I'm still thinking of going back even now. And I'm you, there's always change. I don't think this is green enough. So I may go back when I do this one to have Carlos Nabel again help me with uh, making it greener. It's just a, one of those things that's just getting your head. You got to get it done. It's like an itch. So that, it's just not <coughs> green enough. So just a heads up that it might change. Anyway. Um, I did get some complaints that, you know, hey, I wasn't born in, uh, I was born here in America. Uh, take that out. I was told to take that out. But, uh, um, again, difference of opinions. This, this kind of stuff always draws that, so I expect it to kind of let it flow off. And these are just pieces. Of, uh, just, I just took some pieces of it. Uh, Eddie, all the guy done, and... Um, these things, I actually, if you read like these, the little bits of the paragraphs I have, 
it explains about the fencing, the, the, the border wall, the fencing, the um, sanctuary cities, um, just all kinds of stuff. Um, and all I'm trying to do is get it out in the open, get you talk about it. Uh, but I've been using these, this, uh, this one's here. And it's right there, right in the middle, right next to the, the, the uh, Rosie there. The, I use the ad, the, the street signs, Atchison and Chandler, as a, my latitude and longitude of, that's what this is, that's the, the epicenter, and then everything around it is what this is, with the people around it. Uh, I have it over here, but it's Chandler and Crane, because Atchison used to be I think actually it was Crane, because if you go over the bridge, Gabe Alcala is one told me, he's an extremely intelligent man, he was telling me a lot of this history. Uh, I wish he could be here, he could give you a lot of that history. But he said that uh, if you follow Crane from the other, uh, east of Branner, I mean sorry, west of Branner, and come, it would be Atchison, is that right? Yeah, there's your line. <laughs> John says it, you know it's right. <laughs> um, anyway. Um, well, you've given me the floor. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, anybody, I can good. attest to the fact that uh, there is a method to Koki's madness. <laughs> and it's actually genius. When you talk to Koki, his inspiration, his motivation for different scenes, that one in particular depicts the era of the Chicano movement, mm -hmm. which inspired Mexicans to learn their history, mm -hmm. which part of the mural depicts, mm -hmm. and also lays the groundwork for our future. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yet, amongst all this is our religion, the yeah. Virgen, our inspiration as a people. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. And it's depicted by that uh, behind you, yeah. Right there, the, the five pieces. Well, I mean, well, you're, yeah, yeah, and you, I think you're the one that started Halo. A lasso. Lasso, yeah, it, that's in here somewhere. Looks like it's, it's small, too it's small. <laughs> but there's, uh, I mean, all the Mecha, I remember Mecha from K yeah. State, uh, that's in here. Uh, yeah, and going back to this piece, it, uh, it's not coincidental that most of us who are depicted there went out and spread the gospel of Chicanismo, yeah. yeah. Gloria yeah. Flores de Corona, yeah. Don yeah. Rodriguez, yeah. George Vega, right. yeah. Jay uh, Garcia, who yeah. ran for uh, Commissioner of Transportation for the city, uh -huh. and on and on and on. So, like I said, there is a lot of history, mm -hmm. uh, and maybe some, uh, sometime you can discuss the inspiration or motivation in explaining some of these scenes to mm -hmm. What? That take forever, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you, w w one of the things that got me, I told you the very first one with the parroquia, the very first one in the stairwell, I did that, and I and that that was in 2005 or six. That told you it was like a six year uh, before I did the other one. The first one I did was 2006. Uh, the next one was the basement, the center part. That was in 2012. There's one I did called history. His story, you know, I was trying to get a uh, play on the word, history, his story, which was my, uh, what do you call it, my uh, portrait. But I didn't do it as a painting of me, I did it as what I thought, I, I was a tennis player. I went and used a crawdad, my doll wino. Um, my first bike, Raymond, my brother brought me Raymond, and bought me a, a, a sh I wanted a 24 inch, I mean little things like that. Like, I want a little cheap bike, like 250, and he gets me a Schwinn three speed. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, it all, our marriage, uh, all kinds of things, our, our football team. I mean, that's, it was my history. I think that grew into the, what Ranger says is our history. And I think, it, I think it just evolved from that. Like, but I talked too much. So, <laughs> hey, Koki. Yes, sir. So, um, is anybody capturing oral history? I mean, as people come in and yeah, make so comments to you about why not do this or why not do that, 
do that. Yeah. Little wooden thing. Yeah. 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 Little wooden thing. That's all the stories they're telling you. <laughs> yeah. Some, some have. Yeah, some have. That's well. Now that you mentioned that, your uh, uh, well, Lupi had a meal. Was one of them. He would when I was doing these. Uh, Lupi had a meal. Uh, John Padilla, uh, and they're, they're both gone now. But they were. Their minds were sharp, um, and they would you know, all of these stories about <laughs> Sales y Puedes. And some of these places I don't even remember. There was a place called Sales y Puedes. Uh, I wish we could get them videotape and just hear them. Um, yes. Gary was telling me there's a, a house right across the street from the church. Gonzalez <laughs> used to have a bar on top, yeah. above. Um, just different things that I, I found interesting. <laughs> and that's, I think, what kind of fed me into uh, well, that, and then I started Googling, uh, uh, um, like, um, I would Google uh, civil rights movements from 1800, eight, uh, 1900 to 2000. And, I, and, and they'll give me, in, uh, in, in, uh, in, uh, year by year by year, different things that happen. There's thousands of things, but you pick and choose. And that's where I got a lot of this stuff and that stuff pick and choose which ones go in there. That's why I said I could fill in uh, with all kinds of different things. Uh, and it's, I don't know, it, and it still wants me, I still want to uh, keep it going. Uh, now, I'm, I'm kind of done with that. I'm just going to show you a couple of all others, you know, if they have any questions that we go uh, into. I was part of it, about 26 of us who were did the Brown versus Board wall. I actually did a, um, well, I did a, a painting, uh, but Michael Toombs, he was a lead artist, great man, I, mean, I really like this man. He, uh, he was a talker. <laughs> he was very good, he explained himself a lot better than I can. But he's the one that did this. Now, what, where I come in on this, all these, where these ideas came from? This was 2017. Uh, that's when it started, anyway. Uh, there was a art uh, 501 uh, schools, grade school to high school, were doing a uh, Martin Luther King art. Um, I was one of the judges, myself, and uh, I forgot the other gentleman. And, uh, Hill, Larry Hill, one of the owners of this. This is the Hill Plumbing Company, right across the, the way from uh, Monroe School. In fact, it, 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 it's south of the Monroe, Monroe School. It's 30 feet long, tall, and 130 feet long. Uh, these images were from the art contest from first grade to 12th grade, um, and which I was lucky enough to be one of the judges of it, Mr. Hill. Maybe that's why they used him, because it, it was, Hill was one of the judges. And some of these are, that year there was a, one of the, why so many masks? I've been, how come you got all these masks in here? Uh, it was uh, one, one of the schools were studying African masks. So, voila, African masks. All this is part of those, that stuff. Um, what we were supposed to do originally each artist was supposed to take a photo, a picture of one of the student works, like this lady's face here. I think that's a... Uh, yeah. Um, uh, this, and this could have been a second grade, third grade, fourth grade, whatever. So you can imagine what it might have looked like. And then they have an artist <laughs> have to try to work, they cut it in half. The student half, the artist half. Uh, then last fall, and the artist kind of cheated over and started took over this side. So now a lot of this was uh, that's what I did here. I did Martin Luther King. Uh,
Oh, uh, this is the thing with the names. Uh, and I'm going to tell a story here because there will be one at the end, the police department. There was a lady, when we did this, I, I, I was retired, and all these others are pretty young, just working, so I could come anytime I want. They had to give me a key to the, you know, where the paint was at. So I, and my nephews, Joey and um, uh, Jacob, work here. Uh, so I kind of had a nail in the building, too, so it worked out pretty well. But I would come early in the morning and start painting. I'd get them on my truck, put a ladder on my truck, and then go up. Uh, they did have some um, lifts, but not for long. Anyway, um, while I was doing these, this lady, Lois, her name was Lois uh, Ulrich. She was an older lady, and uh, she came in a van, but she couldn't walk. She could get out of the car, open the door, she'd get a wheelchair, and she'd come out. She came every day, at least every day I was there, she was there. And she didn't have anything, so I had to get her set up with paint. Eventually, she bought her own paint from me, uh, somewhere, uh, Walmart or someplace. Um, and she would go, because she was in a wheelchair, she had to just paint down here. But somewhere right in here, I, I put her name down. She, I, well, I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, I'll come back to that. This, notice that it kind of ends, I don't know if you noticed this, that all of a sudden about right here, it's kind of empty. <laughs> he did, you know, talk about uh, measure twice, cut once. <laughs> they didn't measure quite right. So it's actually, a lot of people don't notice that, but it's, anyway, uh, Mike is a pretty uh, uh, sharp guy. This thing over here, I don't know if you noticed, God, I didn't touch it. It's good, you can see it. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, the inmates did that, yeah. Oh, it's three-dimensional. It's three-dimensional. It's, it's actually cut out of wood. The women inmates at the prison did them. Uh, since I was at the prison, I used to work with them. I went with, uh, I was part, I had to work with them. There you go, oh, thank you. I'm getting better at this. <laughs> there, there it is. Anyway, those are actually cut out of wood. Uh, one of the grade school kids wrote a poem, a line that is something like, uh, the only thing that should be a hung, uh, should be separated by color is laundry. Something like that. I think be separated by color is laundry. And that's the words that are up here. And there's the, so a pair of pants, uh, I've got it. A dress, a, uh, a shirt, uh, whatever, and, and then they use actually use a wire, but they had to drill into the concrete, into the cinder blocks with bolts, and keep them away from the wall. They didn't want some gap between the wood and the. Uh, but anyway, so the inmates had like a week or so to paint those. Then we had to go pick them up, and then these guys would on the lift zip in, put them up. And we put all these names on here. Uh, one of the names on there is uh, Lois Ulrich. She's not an artist. She's just a lady that showed up every day. But she got to know everybody. Um, um, and they all decided, we all decided to put her name up there. And the thing is, about two weeks after this was done, she passed away. Uh, so there was another, uh, she got, one of the artists, Woody Woodward, was one of the other artists from Kansas City. Got, got really tight with her. She was like just a nice little old lady. Um, and all she wanted to do was paint. Uh, this is the police, <coughs> police wall. Uh, Dave, Dave was everywhere, Dave Mathias. Uh, took this picture, and I had this whole uh, west wall. Uh, uh, and that stuff is rough. If you put your hand on it, it's great bricks on that thing, it's tough. But anyway, all they wanted was people. Um, the public were supposed to work on there. And that's the thing about the Arts Connect. It's a public thing. Public gets to work. There are, I did not do this. The red shoes and the red, blue pants and the red ties. And I don't know what the pink's about. So I had to come back and so we let them paint and they go away and then I come back and finish it up. But it, 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 was, uh, it was fun. That's, this was right here. Awesome. That little ghost. Mm -hmm. 
That's, I, I drew in the... And we hear that it's going to be hmm? knocked down. What's that? We hear that it's going to be knocked down. I someone so said the, that. The uh, police department. If they, if they, I don't know. Anybody know anything about that? The police department? If they were How to, 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 talking about who would hold them. Yeah, well, c'est la vie, is that what they say? Anyway, that's <laughs> Lois right there. I drew her <laughs> portrait in there. But Woody Woodward, who I was telling you about, he wanted to paint her. So if you go there, uh, she'll be there. And um, I had to put a guy on, on being operated on. So they said they wanted a guy, guy coming out of the um, uh, hole in the ground, ditched like a grave digger. So, so when they said put all uh, professions on there, I did. And I put uh, Lois on there. I think. You know, one more. These are I just. This was one I did for 501 Professional Building. It used to be um, what was that? 31st and Harley. Um, school. Uh, school. Elementary school over there. Quinton. Huh? Near Quinton. Uh, Arnold and 31st. Yeah. Uh, anyway. This, they, they wanted a, this portrait. Um, they told me, you know, to do it. Okay, then they told me they were going to put a refrigerator, <laughs> uh, a snack machine. They haven't. So that's, that's, that's good. Yeah. Um, but, and I was doing this one the same time I was doing it with the police department. So that was, I, I had to quit one, and get, so I couldn't this one. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Air ducts up at the top. Oh, yeah. 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 That's me. <laughs> this is one long. I did this while I was at the while I was in prison. <laughs> the, the prince of the warden there asked me to do a mural, but. I think it was it was harder settling on the subject than it was painting it because you have all these religions, all these lifestyles. Uh, I even had to change this because I had a cross on this. Uh, and, uh, take it out. Eh, nothing to do with religion. So anyway, this is uh, this is about ten feet by twenty some feet. I had a couple of inmates help, but again <laughs> they're gone. I had to touch up with that. <laughs> that, that's, uh, it, it actually worked out kind of nice. It's a great place to work. I like that place. <laughs> this is one I, I went to Genesis. Uh, I'm into tennis. Uh, and I got that history. There's actually the word tennis. And the same idea here. T E N N I. How do you spell tennis? N N I S. Anyway. Um, and I got. Uh, yeah, Everybody you can think of. It started as J. Dub Palm, um, something of the hand, the handball. Handball became tennis. Went from there. The original ladies' championship, uh, Wimbledon. They had <laughs> they had an odd number of players. What I mean by that, you know, if you have 13 players, you're going to get 13, then you're going to get six. Well, six in here, six in here, and you got one in the middle. That's what happened here. It was an odd, uh, weird. Uh, but actually, there's 13 players, and you came down to when you came down to the final four, the two winners played whoever was left. There was uh, it was just a strange uh, uh, setup. They had an odd number of players, and they shouldn't have. They shouldn't. They didn't have buys back then. Uh, that first one. Um, anyway, I approached uh, Rodney Stevens, the owner of Genesis. Uh, they actually kept it for about a week or so. This is about six feet tall, whatever. It's a specific wall. I asked if I could paint it on there, and I would, if they would pay for, I mean, they would pay for the paint. I would do it for free. But uh, he bought some really weren't even prints, and that was the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> This is the Brown versus Board. This is what was my idea for the Brown versus Board. Uh, that's the reason for the, the shape of it, 30 by 130. Um, and it has, again, same idea. I, 
and you can see H. Okay? When they're bigger, you can see them a lot better. When this close, you can't see them. But I have a D R A M dream, and it goes from uh, a slave. And uh, this was uh, the year was uh, the you know, back space, approximation um, when he freed the slaves. That date, uh, I think it was January 1st, 1863. Is that right? Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> to uh, November 4, 2008, uh, day they inaugurated a black man as president. So it's kind of, that it, it was kind of neat. The thing was this: I worked with Joan Wilson at. Uh, she was a head ranger at uh, Monroe. Uh, I started doing these, and they had like this much. She said, "Well, that's good, but you don't have anything on, on the Mexicans." So, Caesar Chavez, the orders, and a bunch of others. Um, oh, that's good. You don't have anything on the Indians. Walk, banks, and a bunch of others. You don't have anything on Muslims. Uh, you don't have anything on gays. So I, I went, it, it covers the rainbow of the lifestyles. At least I, I tried to, anyway. Um, I think that's it. <laughs> oh, I know. Wait, wait, one more. One more. I, I told you I was going to get back to what I'm trying to do now. Uh, this is what I've done in the past. This is what we just complete, completed. Uh, this is what, what I'm trying to do. Is, uh, if, if you remember the basement, that's in the center. This is to the left of that. I want this to be at that far end where it bends, goes into that uh, utility room back there. But I'm trying to get um, all the, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, it says North Topeka, up here, uh, neutral, and then bottom, Oakland and East Topeka. And then I have like a, I know my mom always grew yerba buena, uh, spearmint, I think that's what it is. Uh, so, voila, right in the kind of middle of that area. The, back then was a rock and Tom Rodriguez, I have his book here. Uh, I got a lot of my information from that. Uh, and I asked him if I could use it. And he said, you know, any way you want. Perils, uh, rock and roll. I even put Zorro in there. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have it. Any suggestions that, or not suggestions, I don't know, unless there's a picture with it. You know, I get, I get tons of suggestions, but no, no help needs to be picture. <laughs> uh, I even have the uh, two of the guys that um, uh, were the Spanish Mexican stars. Infi Infini? Infini? Anybody know those? Uh, it's in the book. I'll have to get all these. Uh, I got a lot of notes and stuff. I just don't have them in order yet. I usually do the book after I'm done. But, um, I've got all the streets. I'm, I'm going to ask uh, Abel or, or uh, uh, Carlos uh, with this. This is more of an engineer thing. And it was called, a lot of people, I was talking to uh, uh, Sarah Frizzell today about, they're talking about the police being moved out. That area was the same area that affected Keyway, which was uh, the, um, the urban renewal. It went right through where we're talking about with the police, so they're doing it again. Uh, you know, like deja vu all over again. Um, hmm? The, uh, up at the top you say, a good place to dig potatoes. Isn't that what Topeka That's the name means? of Topeka. I mean, that's supposedly, According to Tommy's book, and I saw that too before, uh, Topeka, and the word Topeka is also right here. A good place to uh, dig tomatoes, potatoes. So, uh, I try to get like, the Princess Theater, which, was, uh, which shows Spanish films. But again, if anybody has pictures like that, I'll take this out of the minute and put something else in there. Anybody have, I even have Cisco Kid in there, a punch so I don't know if that. Yeah. It's a filler. 
but it's also part of our history. So that's why I'm there's so much things I can throw on here. It's just a matter of choice. Questions? No? Oh, well, I uh, appreciate you coming. And, uh, Zan, thank you for. Thank you. Uh,